Hey there, Vuforia developers. I'm Jake Steinerman, and I work in augmented reality at PTC. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to create an area target in Unity using Vuforia Engine. Area targets are a new and unique spatial AR capability only found in Vuforia Engine that enables applications to track and augment large spaces. Area targets use a 3D scan as an accurate model of a space to create an area targets database, so you can easily create apps and augmented reality experiences that live in that scanned environment. The possibilities of what you can do with this exciting new type of tracking are nearly endless. You can provide indoor navigation directions, spatially aware instructions, interactive games, and a whole lot more. Areas like museums, public spaces, retail stores, and factory floors are all ideal environments for area targets. First, the Vuforia Engine SDK versions 9.0 or higher, the Vuforia Engine Area Target Generator, a commercially available and supported 3D scanner to scan an environment, the latest version of the Unity 3D Editor, and of course, a space you're going to want to augment. In its initial 9.0 release, Area Target supports environments of up to 1,000 square meters, around 10,000 square feet. We're continuing to update the size of spaces that we support, so keep an eye on the Vuforia developer portal for future updates. Vuforia Engine Area Targets require the use of a supported 3D scanner. Our current list of supported devices will be in the description, and we're going to keep it updated as we add new options. The team is actively working on expanding our 3D scanner support for future releases. But if there are any other 3D scanners you'd want to see supported in the future, let our team know in the developer forums. So there's four steps to creating an area targets experience. First is creating a scan of your space. Second, generating an area targets database using the area target generator. Third, importing the area target into Unity. And last, but not least, is building and testing your experience. So let's get started. In order to create a Vuforia Engine area target, you're gonna need a 3D scan of your desired environment. We're not gonna be going into the steps and best practices for creating a 3D scan, since each scanner has different requirements. Check out the links in the description below for details about using our supported scanners, as well as best practices for selecting and scanning an environment. Once you've completed your scan and acquired the 3D model of your room, open the Area Target Generator, which you can download from the Download Tools section of the Vuforia Developer Portal. Then, log in with your Vuforia Developer credentials. In this example, we're using a Matterport Pro 2 camera, and in order to bring your scan space into the Area Target Generator, you're gonna to need to enter your Matterport API keys and enter the space ID. As we continue to add more supported 3D scanners, the process for creating an area target is gonna change a little bit. Once all the information has been entered, click Create Area Target. Then you'll see how many area targets you have remaining in your account and where your targets are going to be saved. The free Vuforia developer license starts with a quota of 10 area targets, but a VIP or pro license will allow you to generate unlimited area targets. Next, click continue. Then you'll see a log output about the downloading, processing, and generation of the area target during the creation process. If you wish, you can stop the process by pressing cancel. Once the process is done, an OK button is gonna become available. By pressing it, you'll get returned to the home screen. Your area target data set is available in the folder you selected at the beginning of the process, and it's ready to be imported into the Unity Editor. Before importing your database into Unity, you can check out your area target with the Vuforia Engine test app. This app demonstrates the quality of the area target tracking before starting development in Unity. This application is distributed as a ready-to-go APK for Android and can help users learn how to use area targets. This is great because it saves you time and potential frustration if the target turns out to have issues later down the development process. So give it a try. There's more information over on the Vuforia developer portal.
Open a new or existing Unity project and be sure to set it up with Vuforia Engine. Then, remove the main camera from the scene and replace it with a Vuforia Engine AR camera object. Obtain a license key from the Vuforia developer portal and place it in the license key field under Vuforia configuration in the AR camera dropdown. Be sure to enable device tracker at the same time. Just to note, you can get a free developer license key under the develop tab when you're logged into the Vuforia engine developer portal. If you want to publish your app to an app store for commercial or internal use, you can find a link to our pricing options down in the description. After the license key has been added, create an area target game object from the game object dropdown menu under Vuforia engine and then select area target. You can import the area target database Unity package that was generated in the area target generator by selecting assets, import package, custom package. In the inspector window of the area target game object, choose the imported database and area target via the drop down menu. Now it's time to configure your area target. The area target database contains additional assets of the scanned area, including textures, materials, and a prefab model. After importing the package, locate these files in the folder Editor, Vuforia, and then the name of your dataset. The preview model of the scanned area is added automatically to the area target, but a prefab can also be placed in the scene if you want to modify certain captured elements of the area. This preview model is for the purpose of visualization of authoring, occlusion rendering, and simulation mode. Another note, changing the size of the area target game object isn't supported. This guarantees that your scanned real environment contains its original scale throughout the entire development workflow. If you need to use a different scene scale in your project, please review the virtual scene scale factor over in the developer portal. You can find a link to that in the description as well. While placing your 3D objects, you can enable occlusion on your real environment by using the 3D model. By ticking the box for simulate occlusion, your preview mesh hides the content that is obstructed by the environment's walls and doors when used in play mode. If you wish to test your area target while being able to see all of your content, untick this box. With an occlusion shader on the preview model, selectively hide content behind walls or doors Use ray casting with a mesh collider to let users place augmented content at runtime, or add a navigation mesh to your scene to guide users around. Now that you've added your area target, let's put some 3D content in it, like this drone, to test it out. Place your own content into the scene and position it in relation to the preview model, matching the scale of the environment. Add your augmentation content as a child of the area target game object. Once you've placed all your digital content down within your area target, you can preview the experience in simulator mode. Simulator mode is located in Vuforia configuration under play mode. Set up your preferences for walking speed and key bindings and press the play button. This allows you to navigate through your environment while at your computer, providing you with a full preview of your experience to test your effects and interactive components. When you're ready, you can build your Unity project to your AR Core or AR Kit supported device, or to a HoloLens for testing. A Vuforia Engine project is built in the same way as other Unity apps for Android, iOS, and UWP platforms. And here's the result of the area target we've been working on. As you can see, area targets track the entire scan space, keeping your augmentation stable and allowing for a completely immersive experience. And that's it for area targets. I hope all you before developers found this video useful. We plan on making a lot more videos going forward, so definitely let us know what you'd like to see and share all your uh, area targets and other before experiences with us online. We'd love to see them. Take care.